Indian Navy has deployed its newly acquired Trishti Pen UAV at the Port Bunga Naval Air Station. Indian Air Force contingent has landed in Egypt for the second edition of the month-long tactical leadership program along with the Air Forces of Egypt, Jordan and Greece. The Indian Army has decided to drop plans for procuring more ultralight howitzers like the M777 or any local ultralight howitzers, instead will procure 155mm 52 caliber artillery guns. Indian Navy has inducted the indigenous laser ordnance disposal system developed by DRDO. Garden Reach shipbuilders held the steel cutting ceremony for Ocean Research Vessel for National Center for Polar and Ocean Research. With an aim to expand defense exports to Latin America, Mazagin Dock shipbuilders will participate in upcoming Expo Naval 2024 in Chile next month. Bharat Earth Movers Limited and Mazagin Dock shipbuilders have forged a strategic partnership to drive innovation in marine applications. The Indian Army has installed optical fiber at two of its farthest outposts in the Ladakh sector to ensure high-speed broadband connectivity. Experts have said, that India should partner Embraer for India's RTA-90 Regional Transport Aircraft Program. Indian Navy has inducted two new 25-ton bollard pull tugs at Andaman and Nicobar Command. Dr. Satish Reddy, the scientific advisor to Defence Minister has said, that the recently tested hypersonic missile is not a conventional hypersonic cruise missile, and instead it represents a novel hybrid design, that combines the characteristics of both ballistic and cruise missiles. This missile is launched like a ballistic missile, and then transitions to cruise mode, and he said that no country in the world has such a dual mode capability missile in its arsenal, which is nearly impossible to intercept. General Atomics is promoting its Mojave unmanned aircraft system as a potential carrier capable UAV for the Indian Navy's evolving requirements. Indian Navy is already procuring 15 MQ-9B drones, and if the Navy decides to explore Mojave, the decision will hinge on balancing the advantages of proven technology, with the strategic benefits of indigenous production. The Indian Navy is actively pursuing the development of high-power microwave weapon systems, that harness the power of concentrated microwave energy to disrupt or destroy electronic systems in various targets including drones and missiles. Indian Navy seeks to extend the capabilities of high-power microwave weapon systems to at least 5 kilometers, for engaging multiple targets without collateral damage in open waters. The DRDO is working on a groundbreaking digital soldier system concept, that features a smart helmet integrated with sensors cameras and communication devices for better situational awareness, a smart watch that monitors health vitals and hydration levels, microphone earphones and wearable cameras, artificial intelligence driven electro-optic systems, internet of military things for a unified battlefield view augmented reality and mixed reality devices, digital battle management system, and electromagnetic jamming system. Today's top 3 comments. Oh, Mark,